Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm looking in on my African night crawlers in the urban worm bag. And uh, looks like I've got some things growing over here in the corner. Uh, looks like an onion. Interesting. Kind of look and see how they're doing right now. See what I can find for a feeding. Kind of smell some orange a little bit. No, well, I just messed up my worm ball, but that's a pretty good size cluster of worms. Onion shell or peel. Let's see, it's been a couple, two or three weeks since I harvested this, so. I'm going to harvest it here. The plan was to do it next week, is to do another harvest so that I can get the level on the bag to a, a manageable level because it is still super full. I put a lot of bedding in here when uh, after I harvested it. So it looks like a really good concentration of worms all the way through. The moisture looks good. You can tell the, the new bedding that I put in there. You can tell they're, they're already working it over very quickly. Of course, you can, you can tell the difference between the uh, coffee grounds and the castings. Trying out a new light source today. It's a bit harsh. I don't know how the worms feel about it, but I feel like it's harsh. Mm, looks like another avocado trying to grow. Corn husks are still in process. I'll give them a little bit of help here. Yeah, kick the pugs out of the room. They're out there kind of having a fit. It's like, no, you guys behaved badly last time. You have to stay outside. Alright, I don't see, at least not right now, I'm seeing concentrations of things that must be left over from the juice from the last feeding, but I'm not finding any actual food food. So I am going to feed them today. Same same things as, as usual. It's uh, coffee and bananas and oranges, etc. I think there's some pasta in here this time. But I'm going to go get that. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I've got a one-gallon container here. It's got pasta and oranges and little baby sweet peppers, tea bags. So I'm going to dig them a, a bit of a, a pit here and right here in the middle now I don't remember ever actually feeding this much pasta before I don't know how this is going to work uh, could end badly for all I know but yeah Maybe I should spread it out, maybe. Kind of make a longer layer of it so it's not concentrated. I don't know if it's going to act like bread and kind of mold weird. or If anybody's uh, fed very much pasta before, uh, leave a comment below and let me know uh, maybe what we can expect in a week or so when we look in on this. going to just make sure it's 
buried a little bit. It's good contact with the microbes in the bag. And the grit source is already in the pre-made bedding that I put in last week. So we won't be needing to do anything more of that. Um, again, I like to always show people they do like onions. Um, this is them living inside of an onion peel. So there's, there's nothing too acidic or, or what have you. Um, I wouldn't recommend feeding a hundred of them, but you know, one here and there they seem to enjoy. All right, guys, well, that is it for today's urban worm bag with the African night crawlers. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell notification. But anywho, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.